we're a fab speed motorsport. We have two E90 uh, V8 M3s on the lift. Uh, these are both M3 uh, post customers who came up today. We're gonna do a little installation video, show you guys how to put the parts on. Um, basically, show you the tools that you're gonna need. I have basically everything apart already. Um, you need, a, it's an E12 inverted Torx, 22 millimeter from the O2 sensors. Um, a 14 millimeter socket, um, and you're also going to need a 13 millimeter. Um, basically, what you want to do is start loosening them up here. These are two 13 millimeter clamps. Once you get those loose, you can pop them over the back. Um, then you have two 13 millimeter uh, bolts on each side, and two 13 millimeter nuts. Just, uh, I have them all loose, so just, you pull this shield down out of place. And then up towards the front of the car, you have two more 13 millimeter bolts that are already out that I pulled out. Um, the rear O2 sensors are 22 millimeter. Those are pulled out. Uh, the fronts, there's two in the front, one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. Pull both of those out. And then basically all you have left are these four um, nuts and bolts. There's a 14 millimeter copper nut and an E12 inverted Torx. Once you have all four of those uh, out, um, have someone else either helping you out, holding the exhaust, uh, or if you have a jack stand, you're working on a lift. Once those are all down, you can literally pull this whole system off in one piece. Once we have the exhaust off, uh, we're gonna start it up again, and, I, and I'll show you guys how to tap in the heat shield. All right, as you can see, we have the stock exhaust off the car. It comes off all in one piece. You just wanna uh, <clears throat> kind of pry the back end of it down and take it out from the back side. And you'll see up here where everyone's having a problem is this heat shield. Basically, you want to tap it in all around in this area, even in here. Um, just take a soft rubber mallet and you're just going to start tapping. You want to do it all around in here. There's nothing behind this shield, so you're not going to hurt or damage anything. We've already taken it off and looked. Make sure you can get all the way up in there. Basically, I'd say it's pretty simple. You can see it's formed, you know, really nice to the body here. Uh, there's nothing behind, so you didn't damage anything. You just want to make sure you get the key points here, like right in this area where the cat's going to be sitting in the valley. Um, as long as you do that and you tap it up to where it's flush with the body, you should have no problems, no rubbing or vibrations. This is the passenger side of the car. You would just want to do the same thing too, uh, just for safety mode. Just take a soft rubber mallet and just hammer the heat shield up a little bit. Uh, here we are back at fast speed and we have the high flow cats on the car. Uh, one thing you just want to mention is you want to put a little bit of the uh, ultra copper sensor safe high temp RTV salt cone. Um, and just put a small bead all the way around the pipe just to prevent it any leaking. Also on the back side, just want to take a little bit of the silicone and just put it right in the seat here. <laughs> <laughs> you so 
hear it. 